So this is a question which says evaluate x square minus x in modulus minus 1 to 2. So as you can see this is not directly x square minus x but it is modulus and modulus would have some expansion and that will be useful in studying this function's integration. I have not erased the heading of properties of definite integrals and definitely I told you that there are three properties and I will be showing you the implementation of those properties. Let's see how to do this question. I know that it is x cube minus x directly I could have integrated I could have got the answer in barely two minutes but this has modulus so I have to remove its modulus sign in order to go about the solution. How to do it? Let me start teaching you the solution of this question. So the question is say fx is the function if I have fx as the function x cube minus x and then there was modulus in everything I know that this can be solved as I can take certain thing common and I can make its factors. So it is x multiply x minus 1 multiply x plus 1 that you all will agree. For getting what values would satisfy this I would be going by the number line you know that I have already taught you in earlier chapters. So put zeros individually x is equal to 0 1 and minus 1 so 0 1 minus 1. So 0 1 minus 1. Now you go from here it is infinite it is minus infinite plus minus plus minus. But take care that you have the limits minus 1 to 2. So minus 1 to 2 would be somewhere after 1 but here only. Right? So where where do we have plus signs? 1 to infinity that means basically 1 to 2 because we have to think only till 2. So 1 to 2 and minus 1 to 0. So I say my fx has x cube minus x value only that means the positive value only when you have minus 1 to 0 and 1 to 2. And what about the next case that my fx will attain negative value when I have 0 to 1. So when we are talking about 0 to 1. Now what is difficult? I have basically got the points where I need to split. So I will be using that knowledge that if I have a function and I have to integrate it so I can definitely go by certain thing called as a to c dx plus integration c to a fx dx and this can be generalized also remember where my c is somewhere between a and b I did that so I'll be using that knowledge so here I say my i if the question is say i would be evaluated in what manner it would be evaluated as splitting so I go from minus 1 so minus 1 to 0 so it is minus 1 to 0 I'm not going beyond minus 1 because that is not the need of the question so minus 1 to 0 positive sign so x cube minus x dx plus 0 to 1 0 to 1 negative sign so it is x minus x cube dx plus 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 and where is 1 to 2 here for x cube minus x now simply integrate put the limits that will give you your answer so it is x raised to the power 4 upon 4 minus x square upon 2 put the values minus 1 0 plus x square upon 2 minus x 4 upon 4 put the values 0 to 1 plus x 4 upon 4 minus x square upon 2 put the values 1 to 2. Let me move to the other part of the board for the further solution I make a line and see what happens when we put the limits. So here it is equal to sign and here it is 0 by 4 0 square by 2 no use I just put minus 1 but firstly I will be putting minus sign because it is the case of the lower limit so 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 should be there 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 should be there right next plus upper limit minus lower limit lower is 0 no cases plus 
1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 because we have to simply put 1. Now plus again for the next term and here it is upper limit minus lower limit first put 2, 2 raised to the power 4 is 16, 16 upon 4 is 4 minus 2 square is 4 by 2 which is minus 2. So 4 minus 2 is simply 2. Directly let me write plus 2. I hope this makes sense. Then put minus sign for the lower limit. Now 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. So 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. That is the case. Now let me just solve it. It is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 where 1 by 4 should be of minus sign plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Simply opening the brackets. Now let's combine certain terms or cancel whatever happens. 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 in negative makes it minus 3 by 4. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 makes it plus 3 by 2. And here it is plus 2. So minus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus 2. So 3 plus 4 is 7 by 2. Let me take the LCM. It becomes 4. So it is minus 3 plus 2 to the 4, 2 7s are makes it 14 which gives me 11 by 4 which is the answer. So this is how you solve this type of a question.